Hey guys, what's happening? Niat here with Film Comics Explained, and in anticipation to the latest installment of the X-Men franchise titled Dark Phoenix, we are going to explore the origins of the Phoenix Force and its relationship with Jean Grey throughout the continuity of the comics, including the emergence of the Dark Phoenix, which was its corrupted state. The Phoenix Force is without a doubt one of the most, if not the most, powerful being in the Marvel Universe, possessing the unlimited power to create and destroy anything and everything. The Phoenix Force is essentially an immortal and immutable manifestation of the universal force of life and passion. Born of the void between the states of being, the Phoenix Force was a child of the universe and one of the oldest cosmic entities in existence. It is the nexus of all psionic energy which does, has, and ever will exist in all realities of the multiverse. And as the guardian of creation, the entity was capable of regrowing any part of the universe, as well as destroying it entirely, which is part of the Phoenix's purpose. It's for this reason that the Phoenix Force is often described as being the embodiment of creation, and the spark that gave life to the universe, as well as the flame that would ultimately consume it. Though usually synonymous with its tumultuous relationship to Jean Grey, the Phoenix Force has had a whole heap of hosts over the years, from Pharaon the Mage, Rock Shear of the Shi'ar Empire, Rachel Summers, Professor X, Madeline Pryor, to Captain Marvel, among many more. Now, X-Men The Last Stand gave us our first look at what the Phoenix Force was capable of, where it was seen overpowering the likes of Professor X and Magneto with ease. Its next appearance was in X-Men Apocalypse, which saw a young Jean Grey, played by Sophie Turner, unleash the Phoenix Force, completely disintegrating the film's antagonist within seconds. Both films haven't even scratched the surface of what the being is capable of, which is why I'm really excited about the upcoming Dark Phoenix, which, judging by the trailers, looks as though it will be delving into the history of the Phoenix Force and its capabilities further. During its time as a sentient entity, the Force travelled the cosmos as a formless mass of energy, but at some point it had come to Earth where it met a magician named Pharon, who worshipped the legendary Phoenix and whose daydream-like visions prompted the entity to adapt the firebird form it has today. The Phoenix Force eventually left Earth, but was called back when it felt the mind of a human transcend the physical realm, a mind that resonated with the Phoenix's energy. This, of course, was a young Jean Grey who had telepathically linked her mind to a dying friend, Annie Richardson, to keep her soul from moving to the afterlife. In doing so, Jean's mind was also being dragged along to the other side, leading the Phoenix Force to lend its energy to the young mutant, enabling her to stay alive, prior to keeping close watch over her from that point. Years later, when Jean was dying on a space shuttle along with the other X-Men, her mind called out for help and the Phoenix Force answered her once again. As the ship had malfunctioned, the pilot essentially had to sit in an area without shielding to protect them from radiation. Marvel Girl volunteered the pilot, but while guiding the shuttle back to Earth, the solar radiation finally proved too great for her, forcing Jean Grey to take over, who used her powers to create a protective bubble around the X-Men while she attempted to control the ship. Responding to Jean's telepathic calls for help, the Phoenix Force appeared before her, shaping its form and consciousness after Jean's own. It then told her that she was dying, but that by taking the Phoenix Force's hand, she would gain her heart's desire. In that moment, as what Jean most wanted was to save the lives of the X-Men, the Phoenix Force responded by taking on the form, memories, and personality of Jean Grey, absorbing a portion of her consciousness prior to placing her in a protective coma. Using its immense powers, the Phoenix Force was able to ensure the survival of the X-Men, guiding them safely back to Earth, while Jean Grey remained within the cocoon as her significant injuries healed. Thus, the Phoenix Force fulfilled its pledge to Jean, and the cosmic entity which had created a duplicate body of Jean and absorbed a piece of her consciousness, acted in her place while Jean's body lay in suspended animation. Inhabiting the duplicate body and siphoned consciousness of Jean Grey, the Phoenix Force began to experience human emotions for the first time, which would prove to be its first weakness, as this made it an easy target for manipulation. Wanting the Phoenix Force to join the infamous Hellfire Club, the cunning illusionist known as Mastermind made Phoenix believe that she was his 18th century lover, Lady Grey. When the X-Men finally came to her rescue, Jean's true love, Cyclops, faced Mastermind in a psychic duel and was defeated. The sight of his defeat enabled the Phoenix Force to break the hold Mastermind had over its psyche, as well as any residual control Jean had over the Phoenix. Angry and frustrated at having been tricked, the Phoenix Force then became Dark Phoenix as its newfound human emotions began to cloud its judgement. In this corrupted state, the Phoenix Force was at its strongest, continually craving more power and destruction. Totally uncontrollable, the Dark Phoenix was a force to be reckoned with, and when it flew back into space, her firebird form could be seen across the entire universe. 
To satiate its hunger for more power, the Dark Phoenix then flew into a distant galaxy and devoured the star of the Dabari system. The resulting Nova killed billions of innocent people, leading the Shi'ar, Kree, and Skrull empires to conclude that for the rest of the universe to live, the Dark Phoenix had to die. Now, Beast had found a way to temporarily neutralize Phoenix's immense power, and when the Dark Phoenix returned to Earth, the X-Men held it at bay while Professor X built mental blocks in Phoenix's mind. All of this, of course, did not matter to the Galactic Empires that had lost so many of their citizens, and as a result had decided to activate an ancient Kree weapon to destroy the Phoenix Force and the solar system it inhabited. To prevent this, during a moment of lucidity, the Phoenix Force finally took over and activated the Kree weapon itself, which atomized the Dark Phoenix on the spot, along with the original Phoenix Force. However, as the Phoenix Force was the embodiment of creation, it could not fully be destroyed, and at the very moment of the Dark Phoenix's death, a spark of the Phoenix Force came back to life, and sought to return the borrowed portion of Jean's consciousness back to her body, which was still in suspended animation. Jean instinctively rejected the Phoenix Force, and had wandered the universe before becoming attracted to Madeline Pryor, who was an unsuccessful clone of Jean Grey, created by Mr. Sinister. Realizing that this was the closest thing to Jean Grey it could find, the Phoenix Force gave a spark of itself to Madeline, granting her a portion of the Phoenix Force, as well as a portion of Jean's memories. It's for this reason that Cyclops became immediately attracted to Pryor, eventually marrying her in Jean's absence and presumed death, and fathering a son named Nathan Summers, aka Cable, who made his first appearance in the recent Deadpool 2. Now, after the death of Madeline Pryor, the Phoenix Force once again returned to Jean Grey's consciousness, enabling her to manifest powerful Phoenix Firebirds and to tap into cosmic reserves during numerous conflicts, including one where it defeated Galactus, another devourer of worlds that could utilize the cosmic energy known as the Power Cosmic. Though Jean Grey did die on numerous occasions throughout the continuity of the comics, the Phoenix Force brought her back to life time and time again with the use of its seemingly unlimited powers, which had led to its classification as an extinction level threat by many beings in the universe. Throughout the comics, animated series and films, the scope of its powers have shown no bounds. Immortality. The Phoenix Force is immortal and indestructible, and as such it cannot die or be destroyed. Energy Absorption. It can directly absorb, manipulate and fully control any type of energy, such as Cyclops' optic blasts, or the entire energy of a star, black hole or even a whole galaxy. As the one true phoenix, Jean was also shown to be able to activate and deactivate the mutations of others. Concussive Force It can also wield this energy to project beams of immense concussive force powerful enough to destroy whole planetary bodies. Future Life Force The phoenix force possesses limitless cosmic energy and can tap into the energy provided by life force reserved for future generations, thus denying them existence. With or without a host, it's one of the most powerful entities in the Marvel Universe, capable of existing in any plane, timeline or dimension. Quantum Singularity It can transmigrate throughout time and space by folding its energy back into itself, causing it to collapse akin to a black hole. Life Force Control The Phoenix Force can control and manipulate life and death itself, and as such, it can take the life energy from something, or vice versa. Psionic Nexus as the center of all psionic energy throughout the cosmos, when bonded with a host, the Phoenix Force vastly strengthened and amplified all of their superhuman mutant powers and abilities to immeasurable levels. Matter Transmutation The Phoenix Force can manipulate and transmute matter on a subatomic level. Cosmic Teleportation It can teleport others across vast distances throughout the galaxy, and can even enter an entirely different timeline altogether. Cosmic Pyrokinesis as seen in the films, the Phoenix Force can create cosmic flames that do not require oxygen to burn, and are so intense that matter is instantly consumed without any byproducts such as ash. Temporal Manipulation 
The Phoenix Force can manipulate the past, present, and future across large temporal distances, while still being able to maintain knowledge of the causal effect its actions would have. Existence Mastery It can also warp reality, bring anything into existence, freely manipulate all existing things, and return them to nothingness when their purpose is extinguished, which is why these guys have no chance at stopping the Dark Phoenix. I think it's also important to note that its immeasurable cosmic powers and abilities appear to be at their strongest when bonded to Jean Grey. As such, the two have a strange, profound connection to each other, with Jean representing the closest thing the Phoenix Force had to a physical form. Well, that's all for today, folks. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video going through the origins and powers of the Phoenix Force. If there's any other stuff you'd like me to check out, please don't hesitate to ask. As always, it's been a pleasure. Niat here with Film Comics Explained. Thanks for stopping by. I want to help you. Help me? What's wrong with me? Absolutely nothing. Eric, stop! No, Charles, not this time. You've always held her back. For your own good, Jean. Look what happened to Scott! You killed the man you loved because you couldn't control your power! No, stop!